Hi, I'm Eric Lenask, uh, coming to you from Los Angeles at IT Expo West. I'm here talking with uh, Ingate President Steve Johnson. Steve, thanks for joining me. Good morning. It's uh, maybe a great place to start is uh, talk a little bit about the uh, SIP trunking seminars that, uh, that you guys have uh, put on here again. Oh, well, I'd be happy to. And uh, like every other time we've done this, and this is, I believe, the sixth time, uh, this has been a very successful event for us. We've seen a lot of people, a lot of uh, people who are very interested in SIP trunking, a lot of people who are very not, now very more, much more knowledgeable about what SIP trunking is and how it can come together and their return on investment that they can expect from this particular type of service. And uh, that investment is uh, relatively low and the returns are relatively high. Uh, we've seen a lot of people this time and we're very pleased to be part of the TMC organization uh, doing these seminars together with you. I saw, when I, when I popped my head in, I saw a lot of interactivity between the panels and the, the audience. What kind of, uh, what kind of uh, questions were, uh, was the audience asking? These were very penetrating questions, uh, very uh, focused on what it takes to do SIP trunking. And so uh, this again reflects the education that the audience seems to have received either through our seminars or elsewhere in uh, what SIP trunking is all about. So they were asking specific questions about uh, the details of implementation, about uh, architecture of their network, uh, what it takes to get this set up, what the uh, service plans might be, service level agreements, and those kinds of things. So uh, very deep and uh, yet very focused questions. Were these predominantly uh, people looking to get into SIP trunking or people that are already uh, working with uh, SIP trunks? It's a mixture of both, but I would say the predominance are, are people who don't currently do SIP trunking but are planning to do so in the near future. Mostly value-added resellers, I'd say, a uh, few end users, and a few service providers as well. Why is there still so much interest in SIP trunking? Because it can save you a lot of money, because it can prepare you for unified communications, and because it is the wave of the future in terms of uh, new methods of communicating with each other in the business world. And I think that SIP trunking is a great catalyst for all of that. Uh, speaking of uh, methods for communication, I know you guys had some uh, interesting demos during the sessions. Yes, we did. Uh, Shortel and Bandwidth.com, together with Ingate, uh, did a demonstration of setting up a PBX and the Ingate product, connecting it all to the Bandwidth.com service. And uh, like in the past, we've challenged the people who are doing the demo to do it as quickly as they can, and this time they exceeded our expectations and did it within 15 minutes, showing again how easy it is to get set up on a SIP trunk if you have the right vendors and you have uh, the right people doing the job. What do you see in the future uh, for SIP trunking as far as uh, new capabilities, uh, things like that? Well, SIP trunking is a specific application of SIP, and SIP, as you know, is a very is, is a signaling protocol, so it has application that is very widespread. And uh, one thing that we did do uh, on Tuesday was to have a demonstration by our chairman and CEO, Carl Stahl, who uh, demonstrated how easy it is to connect up people via video conference, uh, an IM in presence. And he was able to engage his daughter, who was living in Japan, to uh, be available for a video conference at 7 o'clock in the morning her time and he was able to set that up uh, from the show or from the from the conference room very easily very quickly and it demonstrates how many more applications there are for SIP trunking as we go forward. Uh, perhaps SIP trunking is the wrong word for that but certainly other applications around SIP from the desktop that will be helpful to us as business people in trying to communicate more effectively with our customers, partners, and others that we that we talk to every day. How important are all those partnerships and relationships with uh, with vendors to Engate? Extremely important. We we value our partnerships. We are very pleased to be partnered with, as I said, Shortel and Bandwidth and several other PBX vendors. And uh, all of those partnerships are extremely valuable to us, and we we hope to cultivate them and add additional vet partners as well. Excellent. Uh, we've been talking here at IT Expo with uh, Steve Johnson from Ingate. Uh, Steve, thanks again for joining us. Uh, congratulations on another great series of uh, SIP trunking seminars. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate your time.